Hello everyone. Uh, now, in this video, I will show you how you can do bubble sort using loops and also using recursion. So, bubble sort is something that looks like this. You have five, four, three, two, and one. So, there will be we start off here now we check if 5 is smaller than 4 if it isn't it switches with 4 it becomes this then, then this becomes here now it checks if, uh, if 5 is if 5 is greater than uh, smaller than 3 if it isn't it switches the values swaps the values now the iterator is here now if it checks if 5 is smaller than 2 if not it swaps the value and then checks is 5 is more than 1 if it isn't it swaps the value after this it performs n times like the size of the array it the loops go uh, the length of the loops are as same as the size of the array so now it 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 starts here again now it checks if 4 is more than uh, 3 by doing that after that uh, loop is finished it will look like something like this and eventually the greatest values will be at the right and the smallest value will be left so this is the concept of bubble sorting now we'll look at the code So we have the array here. Now we need need to make a method. Let's name it public void static void. Um, we we'll name it. This is the most hard part. Loop 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 bubble and it will take in a integer type array so to implement that code we first need to make a for loop where it starts from zero and it ends at uh, array length and increments by one then for each loop we have to start j we can start j at, uh, let's try with zero then we'll slowly move on i j smaller than start than J plus plus. Oh, another important thing is that uh, when it checks, when it, when, uh, okay, this will be length minus one and J plus plus. We will see why this is length minus one in a minute. So, the concept is if a of j plus 1 is smaller than a of j then switch how do you switch you take a temporary variable and store a value 
then you replace that value with the new value and you put back the old value after the swapping and after running these loops the array will be sorted hopefully because this is also a practice session I'm trying I'm practicing for my quiz so let's hope let's hope it works compile loop bubble oh sorry variable a and we need to print it so for uh, for int i equals zero i is smaller than a dot nine i plus plus spell went wrong System to after print one. Okay, just print then put spaces. Now we will print the elements here. I think it should work. If oh shit. Let's replace this there. I don't feel like changing all these. A. A. Run. Run, 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 run. Mm -hmm. Now it's sorted. That was easy. Now let's look how we can do it. Uh, with the first loop being recursively and second loop will be with uh, the loop so public I, I should just copy it paste should be loop bubble mix no loop bubble wreck loop bubble wreck that's a nice name and we need more uh, variables as a parameter so let's take uh, i so that we don't need to change any uh, L, uh, we can just copy paste uh, 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 uh. copy copy paste So for recursion, you all know we have to use, we have to start with the ending, ending condition, stopping condition. So if, oh, first let me call the method in the main class. So um, we pass the value. We will pass the value here, the array, and the starting point. So for iterating in a recursive uh, method, we need to. We need to start from either zero or array dot length and we need to traverse to the last element of the array so if i becomes greater or equal it, it will never become greater it will become equal but still we write greater or equal a dot length it will stop stop return 
by just writing return it will stop there uh, uh, if this is the stopping condition now we need to write the uh, we need to call the method inside this method to make it recursive so so here we are calling it with a and each time it will i will be incremented by 1 so it has nothing to return so as it is a void method i think this should work let's see I mixed up the let's use control a tab this is extra I think now it's okay compile and run so it works now we will be using fully recursive bubbles for need to make another method and we'll name it full bubble rack first oh, as convention first letter of the method should be in small letters let's call it in our main method we pass the array here and the starting point of the array here uh, this method will do the same thing as we did in the loop but recursively so we will copy paste everything here and we will change this part so for the shifting here in this component in this part we do all the shifting so for the shifting we will make another method so let us start replacing these and making the new uh, the new method will return the no it will swap this is the swap method with, with which the values will exchange now it should be void yes and this should be j mm -hmm. now just copy paste this no let's first start the stopping condition the stopping condition is if j is smaller equal than a dot length minus one this is a dot length minus one because we use j plus one in the loop i i told you earlier I, i'm going to explain this as we use j plus one so if we go if we have j going to the length suppose we have a, a array of length 5 so the last index of the array will be 4 and the if j goes to 4 then j plus 1 will go to 5 so 
for using J plus one, we cannot go to the, we cannot give the stopping condition that J is smaller than A dot length. So we are using A dot length minus one. Then it will stop. Else, it will do this. And we need to call the method again. Swap. Now we need to call the method in here. So the starting value of j will be uh, i plus 1, I think. Uh, j will start at. We started j from 0, sorry. So it will start from 0. I think it will work. Did we use the new method? Yes. Yes. So this was one of those flawless training sessions. I hope you liked it. I'm really happy that I didn't make any mistake this time. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone.